Hi, I'm Sam from Kirkley's Visual Impairment Network and today I'm going to talk you through a lateral flow test tactile components guide. Put it simply, basically I'm just going to describe what's in the box. Um, I think the best way to take a lateral flow test when you have low or no vision is really to get one and just have a feel of all the components that's in there to understand kind of how they'd fit together etc. So I'm just going to talk you through and describe what the parts are when you do get a test, if you do decide to take one or you need to take one um, and hopefully this guide will, will talk you through what's in there, what to expect. So one of the biggest parts to the lateral flow test is the extraction tube holder. Um, this is a, I'll just show it here for those that can see, this is a card, a big piece of card, kind of a, a box shape to it. Um, and on the top layer of the of the box is a little hole, probably about a centimetre in diameter, if that, just just big enough for the tip of your little finger, and that is the hole in which you'd stand your extraction tube during the test process. So please don't think it's just an extra bit of card for recycling. Um, that is a valuable piece of the test kit. Which brings me on to the next piece, also in your test kit, part number two is the extraction tube itself. I'm just showing this now again for those who can make it out on the video. It's basically a test tube made of quite fairly rigid plastic, strong plastic. It's clear um, and it has a lid attached. Um, you need to keep the lid attached but anyway that is your extraction tube slash test tube whatever you like to call it and that is part two of the lateral flow test kit. Which brings me now on to part three. Um, again, this is made of plastic, clear plastic, fairly brittle. Um, it's maybe two inches long by about half an inch wide. And like I say, it's brittle plastic, but in the middle, there's almost the feeling that it's like a vial. And that is your liquid sachet for actually doing the test. Um, towards the top end, there's two little nicks in the plastic, which when you do come around to taking the test. These are the bits that help you break the lid off. Um, so this indicates that this is the top of the liquid tester. Um, and anyway, that's part three of your lateral flow test. Anyway, part four, another item in there is quite a large, maybe four or five inches one way, two and a half inches another way. It's a, a plastic kind of envelope sized item and this actually contains your test strip and there's also a little bit of silicon gel for throwing away in there as well. Um, so that, that part is actually a test strip. And then also within your pack you will get a really long, probably about six inches long, thin stick so to speak and this is your swab. Now the best thing about this is Obviously with the swab you can only touch one end or it will be contaminated but the best thing with these is at one end of the packaging there'll be a slight gap between the top layer of the packaging and the bottom layer of the packaging and this is the end that you would open to release the swab from the packaging. Um, so therefore just a quick indication there and that is your swab. And then also in the packet, the final thing, because there's six parts to the test, you also get a roughly six inch clear plastic resealable bag. And that is just for all, all your waste after the test. It can all be popped in there and, and binned accordingly. So that is a quick guide to the tactile elements of a lateral flow test. Look out for part two, in which I'll be showing you how to take the test with little or no vision. Thanks for watching. Bye.